So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, this is Explore. Explore is the 1st of November, 2024. And yeah, I feel really strong and steady coming into Explore. Um, last month we focused on deepening into habits or lifestyle choices, things that we were giving up or things that we were taking on to do. And this month, explore is something similar for me there's something around you know for me to explore or for me to adventure or to really have fun in something then i need resources because otherwise i'm surviving or i'm managing or i'm doing or getting it done and so for me to have resources then i need to be looking at just the whole context of you know am i sleeping enough am i meditating during the day um am i or anything you know anything that brings you wellness are you walking in nature are you taking some time so that there is a space in you which can dwell on exploration uh, exploration in your life exploration on your mat um and yeah so for me there's certain commitments that i'm committing to for the month one is uh, meditation for the month and so my form of meditation, it isn't necessarily that I'll sit on my yoga mat and do meditation. It might be that I stand barefoot and just be present for five minutes, really consciously do that. Or it might be sitting in the sauna or it might be sitting in the bathtub or a hot tub or um, sitting in nature, um, sitting on the bus. Uh, it doesn't matter where you do it, but taking time to really be with yourself, you know, feel the whole of yourself, feel the whole of this moment in your body. And um, for me, this is the pathway to wellness. How do we meet the full experience of this moment and settle with that and really be present to all of this? Um, yeah, so explore. So I have my oil. Um, there it is. Uh, I have my candle. So we're gonna have oil and candles at the beginning of the class. We're gonna sit for maybe two minutes, really not long, you know, but just dwelling on, can I be present to the whole of this right now? Finding it as sensations in the body, moving out of the head. Um, so come sit with me. Uh, if you don't have oil today, that's perfect. If you don't have candles today, that's perfect. But just as a plan, have them for the future, okay? So welcome back. Um, it is truly a pleasure to be here um yeah great come for me the oil and the candle there's something about a container or a space that is created when I do that. Um, like when the candle is lit, I am practicing. And when I move into my senses and smell the amazing rose oil that I have. Oh my God, I love it. And feel the, um, the sense of what that evokes in me. Nice. And then just gently rubbing it down through your arms, through your legs. And then come to sit. I'm just finding a, a way of being well, comfortable, could be in a chair, could be supported. I always have support under my bum. It just tilts my pelvis forward. So two minutes is all we're gonna sit for this morning, okay? And so I'm gonna guide you into this meditation. So as you sit here, as you feel the position of your body seated, the sense of your bum sitting on the floor or in contact with the floor, your legs in contact, your feet in contact with something. In the sense of your spine. 
And the sense of your shoulders, your arms, your hands. And then move just for a few moments, the next 20 minutes out of the doing of this moment, of the doing of life. And move into a sense of as you inhale, as you exhale, that there's a softening through your face. And that you bring your awareness down into your torso, down into your heart, your chest, your belly. And as you inhale, as you exhale, for the next 30 seconds or so, just meet that and be present. Not thinking, not fixing, not changing. Just being with. As simple as that, a moment of connection, a moment of listening, a moment of truly just being with yourself. Nice, cool. So coming to either, you can leave the support under your bum if you want. I'm gonna take my support out and just stretch your legs out long. If you were sitting in a chair, you can stay seated in your chair if you want to and just open your toes wide, open your fingers wide, and then make fists out of your toes, fists out of your fingers. And just move opening and closing. Opening and closing. And keeping your hands closed, keeping your toes closed, move forward and backwards with your hands. And then move in a circle with your feet and your hands. And then move in the other direction circling really feeling into sensing into the movement of your feet now open your fingers wide open your toes wide <laughs> move your hands <laughs> move your feet <laughs> and then move in the other direction i don't know what about this makes me laugh but it just makes me laugh <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Squeeze your toes, open your toes, and just do that a few times with your hands, with your fingers. And so then we're going to do it fast. So close them in and then go whew, open them fast. Close them in, open them fast. Close them in, open them fast. <laughs> Great. Cool. So Come all the way over and come into your child's pose. So your hands are on the floor, your knees are on the floor, and then you're leaning back towards your bum with your heels. Support your head in whatever way you need to. Support your torso. Listen to your knees. So I'm going to meet and explore dun, 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 the sense of our feet this morning. So as you sit back towards your heels, listening to your knees, really going only as far as feels comfortable, feel the weight in the front of your feet. Feel the length of the front of your feet and then just see, can you very slowly lift your toes off the floor? So I'm just lifting, dropping, lifting, dropping. I'm noticing the possibility of foot movement. It might be that there's none and that's okay. It's noticing what there is. It's being present to this moment. Nice, come forward onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes so they're standing, sit your bum back. Bring the weight, so pushing down into your hands, bring your weight back towards your heels. Bring your toes flat, sit your bum back. So travel forward and backwards, toes stand, lean back. Toes flat, lean back. And I think the, um, 
What I've been noticing as I've worked towards explore is that how do I lean into my sensations and explore the meeting of myself? The hearing, the experience, the adventuring into sensations, into movement. Toes flat, toes tucked under, and then lift your knees and pull back into your downward dog. So in my downward dog, I'm again leaning into my feet. Pull your heels towards the floor. Rise high. Heels towards the floor. High. Heels towards the floor. I know one of you has a sinus infection. So if you have a sinus infection, you can be doing just foot movements, sitting upright. You don't have to bring your head downwards. How would you lean into your feet? and still manage your sinus infection. Nice, bend one knee, straighten the other. Bend one knee, straighten the other. And just leaning from one side to the other. I'm not even leaning, lengthening one leg, bending the other. Lengthening one leg, bending the other. Bend both, straighten both. Bend both, straighten both. Nice, bring your knees to the floor. Sit your bum back into your child's pose and pause. And a turn so that you can see me. So I want you to fall with your bum over towards the right. So now I've my right bum is on the floor, and I'm kind of I've just fallen over towards the right, and then come back through the center, and then fall with your bum to the left. And so it might be that you're very high and you're just leaning from side to side, and your bum is still off the floor and you're leaning. It might be that your bum is on your heels and that your bum is actually on the floor. I actually don't mind where your bum is. It's more how do you lean to one side and begin to move towards the floor with your hip or come all the way down? And how do you lean towards the other? If you're sitting in a chair, how would you really lean and lift the opposite bum off the floor? So one of my bums is off the floor completely. And I'll just travel from side to side. And as I do this, what's happening in your feet? As you travel one side, as you travel the other side. One side, and then the other side. Nice, push back into your downward dog. All the way back, pull your heels back, and draw your heels down towards the floor. And just settling in, find your breath. Nice. <clears throat> so walk your feet forward. I'm going to turn sideways on my mat and then bend your knees enough that you're in your forward fold. You can have your elbows on your knees if you wish, or you can have your hands on the floor. I just have a sense of leaning into the backs of your thighs, lengthening through the backs of your legs. And just see, how would you wiggle your toes here? Can you lift your toes? Can you lift your heels? Lift your toes. Lift your heels. How do you move your feet when you're, when you're in a forward fold? Lift your toes, lift your heels, toes, heels. How would you roll onto the baby toe side of your feet? So I push the blade of my feet into the floor. So bring your feet so they're wider. So now they're wider than your mat. No, yeah, as wide as your mat if you're standing on your mat. And then do the same. Lift your toes, lift your heels, toes, heels. 
So exploring our feet in motion. Nice, onto the blades of your feet. Lifting the big toes off the floor, rolling towards the baby toe side of your feet. Nice, bring your feet even wider. So now I'm in a wide angle position. My knees are bent. Lift your toes, lift your heels. <coughs> How do you move your feet here? Roll onto the baby toe side of your feet and notice how you're already there in this movement. You're already on the baby toe side of your feet. So just lean into the baby toe side of your feet, push them down into the ground. And just feel how you open into the sides of your ankles, the sides of your feet. So I'm lifting my toes and then pushing my baby toes down. Lifting my toes, pushing my baby toes down. Super. Come sit on your mat and stretch your legs out long in front of you. Cool, roll into your ankles. So now as we explore our feet, what's the sense of your feet right now? And then roll in the other direction. Nice, so bring your feet so that they're, soles of your feet are together, your knees are apart, and then bring your feet a little bit wider. So there's maybe nine inches between my feet or six inches between my feet. And then bring your right foot to stand and my left leg is out to the side and then change. Left foot to stand and my right leg is out to the side. <coughs> Sorry, there's something in my throat. Right foot to stand, lean towards the left. And then left foot to stand, lean towards the right. And I bring my right hand over, I bring my torso over, everything moves towards the right. It's like as if I was yeah, I would be able to do something over here to the right. And now do something over towards the left. It would be like, yeah, if I was sitting at a picnic, I could eat on this side. <laughs> nice. Move towards the right. And this time, see if you can bring, so there's different options here. One is that you lean both elbows down onto the foot and the knee. The other one is that you lean forward and you imagine that your head is going to come down towards the floor in front of you. Another one is where you reach your left hand as far forward as you can. It's like a sideways sandwich. The right hand is your scaffolding here. So right elbow needs to be resting on something or right hand needs to be resting on something. Otherwise, you'll just, you'll just fall over. So for me, this really nice one where I reach the left hand deeply towards the right. And I'm giving a little bit of resistance by pushing into the baby toe side of that left foot. And as I do that, the left leg becomes really connected and strong into the ground. Nice, other side, move towards the left. So now the left leg is lying on the floor, the right foot is standing. I'm going to reach my right hand over towards the left and my left hand is scaffolding. So my left hand is strong and powerful on the floor. And I'm going to push the baby toe side of the right foot into the floor. And as I do that, I really listen to my knees. I'm not doing anything that feels like it's going to compromise the wellness of my knees. Breathing into your belly. Nice, then come back to center. Stretch your legs out long. Roll again into your ankles. And roll in the other direction. Nice. So legs are straight, bend your right knee and have your right foot so that it's the same, it's at your, where your left knee is. It's just beside your left knee. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling, lengthening tall. Get taller. Nice. Bend your elbows, stretch your right leg long, bend your left knee. 
left foot is near your right knee and then reach both arms up lengthening tall leaning into your belly as you reach forward now reach upwards sorry bend your elbow stretch your leg long this time bend your right knee and bring your right foot as far to the right as you can so now my right leg's out to the side bring your left hand to the floor and dive with your right hand down towards your left foot Again, push into the baby toe side of that right foot and feel like your right foot is alive and connected. You know, lift your toes, lift your heel. How would you connect in a really alive way into that right foot? You know, one way that I really find that I connect into aliveness of my foot is that I imagine, well, how long would I push that foot into the floor to lift the rest of me? off the floor <laughs> so if you want to challenge this morning you could do that so push your right foot down and then lift everything else off the floor <laughs> nice stretch your leg out long other side bring your left foot out to the side bring your right hand to the floor and dive with your left hand down to your right foot create an aliveness in that left foot a sense of a connectivity to the floor and just imagine how would i push that right left foot deeply into the floor so i could lift off the floor <laughs> how would you explore that idea <laughs> nice stretch both legs long reach both arms up towards the ceiling stretching long and tall up towards the ceiling and then rounding forward coming down and forward so that you're lifting one bum and then the other rounding your back arching so move so always in my yoga there's this deep debate you know i don't come to the end of a range and be the most rigid agonized version of myself because then i'm just practicing rigid agony <laughs> Instead, I, I find a place where how do I really lean into the experience of movement, of connection, of ability? So what are you able to do here rather than how do you create agony and stay there? <laughs> so really feel that. How able are you to move? Sitting up tall and then come land on the floor. So lying on the floor, you can keep your knees bent because we were seated for a while there. Keep your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor and allow your lower back to settle. You know, just breathe deeply. There may be, I call it the moo cow feeling. It's like this feeling from the deep of your spine that's going, it's like this settling in gravity. And so there's, you know do i know what it is no i don't but my sense is that the deep stabilizers the scalies of the spine the um, all the little guys that hold my spine together that when i'm sitting upright they're really working and connecting and strengthening and then when i lie down they all go oh that's amazing <laughs> um so let them all settle and land I'm breathing into your belly Guys, it was a pleasure to be here today. This beginning feels really wonderful. Um, I'll be here tomorrow for day two of Explore, and we will continue to explore different parts, different elements, different layers of us as we meet the deep of ourselves. Um, yeah, my commitment is my 10 minutes of, of yoga in the evening. It's happening. It's amazing. I do it every evening now. And then, yeah, sometime in my day, I will sit and meet me in meditation, some kind of container like that. It isn't a formalized form of meditation. It's more like feel the felt sense of me in this moment as I sit here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I see you all tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm really ready to explore, ready to deepen. Uh, so thanks for being here and ciao, Sloan.